Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video yes I'm just going to go straight into it it's all about the pumpkin seeds and yes I mentioned in the title of this video about um, giving hamsters pumpkin seeds and yes it is safe to give your hamsters pumpkin seeds and it's you know more common in larger hamsters like Syrian hamsters but you can offer your dwarf hamsters pumpkin seeds but just not in large quantities because they are more um, prone to get diabetes so but it's not impossible you can still give them pumpkin seeds now you know it is a time of year where we are carving our pumpkins so it's you know and sometimes we throw these seeds away we just do not know what to do with them this is a great idea instead of throwing those pumpkin seeds away you put those pumpkin seeds to one side and you know carry on continue to make your little pumpkin like i will be doing in this video so here you can see that i've taken the seeds and separated them from the pumpkin the inside of the pumpkin so now um, i can officially say that the pumpkin has been um, all the insides have been taken out. So these seeds, I actually want to roast them. So we're gonna wash them and then we're gonna roast them and they're gonna be great for hamster food. Um, these are good for larger hamsters, although they don't, they also, you know, dwarf hamsters can eat them, but they're not that recommended in larger quantities. So I won't be giving them too much, but it would be nice for them to have a little bit of pumpkin seed as well. And um, so, yeah, so the first process, um, after this one, uh, we're going to be washing the pumpkin seeds and then I'm going to be roasting them. So let's do that now. Okay, so there's my pumpkin seeds. I'm going to be putting them in here. Let's get them all in there. And let's just rinse these off with some water. Get rid of all that pumpkin flesh off there. for a while. You can still see some, some pumpkin flesh here and probably some as well. Oh, there's a big one there. So yeah, so as you can see, get that water completely off. There we go. So there we can see that the pumpkin seeds are draining now. Wow, look at those. Look how nice and white they look. So ready for roasting. So I'm just going to be, I've just poured some water in my kettle just to speed the process. I'm going to pour it into the pan. I'm just going to turn that on. And then I'm going to be adding in my pumpkin seeds. There are my pumpkin seeds, and I'm just going to be waiting for them to simmer for a few moments. So as I've now simmered this for about five minutes, that's all. I'm just going to be drying them out. Just making sure that they're all nice and dry. And so I have my oven proof dish ready with some oven proof paper already fitted in, ready to go. 
Okay, so I have my dried pumpkin seeds into the um, greaseproof paper and I'm just going to be popping them in the preheated oven. You can season these and you can also have them for yourself. And I've left half because there were so many and because they're only dwarf hamsters, they don't need a lot of these. So I will be doing some later on uh, for ourselves and maybe season those ones. But these are for the hamsters, so. But when you're carving your pumpkin and you have rodents like hamsters or even guinea pigs, don't forget to save the seeds. You don't have to throw it away. You can make some pumpkin soup for yourself. You can also um, cook these for yourself, but you can also do for your pets as well. Because Halloween is just a few days away now, I'm going to be carving the pumpkin with the rest of the pumpkin. So. This is how I'm going to be doing that. We'll time lapse it to make this a quick process. So let's get on with it. Okay, so before I carve my pumpkin, I like to make sure I've got the good side of the pumpkin. And then I want to draw with my pen just what I'll be doing on it. So I want to do, so I can also change it if I don't like it. So I want to do some of these like oval eyes going like this um, into each other kind of thing. So like that and then i'd go like with the little um, circles here for the nose as you can see so it's going to be just a different pumpkin not your traditional pumpkin but then i want to give him a big smile so i'm going to do like this all the way up to the cheeks like that and then bring it down like this so there we go and then I'm going to do like, you know, when you do these, like the zombie kind of makeup. I know it's not very good, but obviously, I and mean, it does need, when it's going to be carved out anyway, it just look like lines. So I think that's the kind of pumpkin I'm going to be doing this time round. So we'll just carve that. Okay, so while the seeds were roasting, I carved the pumpkin. So, you know, didn't waste any time there. All in all, I'm happy. Never did a pumpkin like this one before, but I really like it. And it's less scary as well. And also, I love the bigger eyes because when it lights up, there's gonna be a lot more light coming from that pumpkin. So I'm really happy about that. So there's my pumpkin with his little lid on top. And now, for the best bit, I'm going to show you those um, pumpkin seeds. So, here we have our lovely pumpkin seeds that have just come out of the oven. They're lovely and golden brown. And they smell beautiful. I'm not joking. Literally, if you don't even like pumpkin seeds, you can just roast them for the aroma because it is a beautiful smell. Nice. So... There we have our pumpkin seeds and um, I'm just going to let them cool down because that's all you need to do and like I say, if you do like pumpkin seeds like I do, I love sunflower, I love pumpkin seeds, everything seeds and nuts I love. If you do like pumpkin seeds, you can actually season these. They have a lot of recipes online. You can do them with olive oil and do with a little bit of spice. And um, yeah, and you can enjoy those as well for yourself. And like I said, I put some aside um, that I will do separately because I will be seasoning those ones. Um, but these ones are just the plain, raw, just cooked, um, you know, um, pumpkin seeds um, for the hamsters and obviously I won't be giving them too much it's not good for dwarf hamsters but just a little bit at a time mixed with their um, proper food uh, will be great for them so yeah like I said um, it's all about bringing a little bit of nature into their life so homemade cooked pumpkin seeds so here's Rosie trying the pumpkin seed and she's liking that. And there's Kubo as well. He's having a little try of one. So I've just given them one each and that should be enough.
So it's just nice to see them trying different things. And there is my pumpkin at the end of the day after I've carved it. And like I said, it brings in a lot of light. So I do hope that you enjoyed that video. If you are new here, then a very big welcome to you. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you thought this was a great video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, make them in the comment section below. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope to see you again in my next video and a happy Halloween to you all.